Business Math Chapter 14 Pre-Class Assignment Tutorial Question 2 A 90,000 mortgage is to be amortized by making monthly payment for 15 years. Interest is 3.2% compounded semi-annually for a 5-year term. Part A. Compute the size of the monthly payments. The first number that we see is 90,000. That's our present value. And then is monthly payment. So P over Y equals to 12. And then 15 years. So T equals to 15. I over Y is 3.2%. And then compound semi-annually, so C over Y equals to 2. And notice that the 5 years term just means that the rate will be locked in for 5 years. It does not affect our calculation. And when we look at the timeline, our N is equal to T times B over Y. So we have 15 times 12, so there are a total of 180 payments. Next, we can fill in the boxes and plug into our financial calculator. So we have P over Y equals to 12, C over Y equals to 2, N equals to 180, I over Y equals to 3.2. Our present value is negative 90,000. Payment is are what we're looking for. Future value is 0. And when we compute for, compute for payments, we have payment equals to 629.30 cents. For part B, we're looking for the balance at the end of 5-year term. So that's the present value that we're solving for. The reason we're solving for present value is because we're, we're assuming that there are still 10 years left. So our n equals to 10 times 12, which is 120 payments. In part A, we found out that the payment was $629.30. And then in part B, we need to be more exact in terms of the payment because of the decimal. So the payment is actually 629.29527. And when we plug that into the financial calculator for our payment, and future value equals to 0, P over Y equals to 12, C over Y equals to 2, and N equals to 120, I over Y is 3.2, and we compute for present value, we get present value equals to 64616.92. Part C, the question is asking if the mortgage is renewed for a 5-year term at 5% compounded semi-annually, what is the size of the monthly payment for the renewal term? For this part of the question, we're going to use the same P over Y and C over Y. So P over Y is 12, C over Y is 2, and N is still 120. What has changed is now our I over Y is 5, and our present value is what we found earlier in part B, which is 64616.92, and future value is 0, and when we compute for payments, we have 683.74.